Hello, everybody. We are live on Facebook, and happy Wednesday to all of you. I know that I feel like I've been out of touch the last couple of days. We've had a business intensive training for my LEAP clients that I work with, and our LEAP um, our LEAP program is all about you know women accelerating their uh, businesses to really reach their peak potential and their peak performance. So we had a very intensive two days of business training, and profit came up a lot. So I'm excited to talk about profit today. So let's go ahead and start recording so we can go ahead and record this week's episode. And is it Rocky Lolvani? Yes. Ooh, I got it right. Okay, here we go. Hello, listeners, and welcome back to another episode of Lead Up for Women, Speak Up to Lead Up. And it's surprising today because uh, it's 80 degrees in Arizona. I know a lot of other states are freezing cold right now. But we did have a little bit of a cold spell. It was like 60-some degrees uh, on Sunday. But I'm just surprised at how bright the sun is today, how warm it is outside, and how much I stay inside my house. So, ladies, I'm going to challenge you today. Step outside, whether it, whether it is snowing out or whether it is, you know, sunny out, and just get a little bit of fresh air on your face. Breathe it in. Take three long breaths. And just relax for a minute. Maybe stretch out your neck to the left, to the right, to the front, to the back. I say this because these are all of the advice pieces I need to give myself. Because I tend to get stuck behind this computer and behind this desk. And we work away and we forget our own health. So for your health today, we're going to be talking about your health. Obviously, that's what I'm talking about right now. But then we're going to get into talking with Rocky about profit first. So I'm very excited about uh, moving into this interview today because women, I know you, you're no different than me. And the one thing we all struggle with is profit. Now, you might be able to generate a lot of revenue in your business, but are you generating profit in your business? Those are two very different things. So today we're going to be talking with Rocky Lovano a lot about that. And yes, he is a male. I know I have another male that I'm interviewing on my show, but this is how it works in my world. When I find an expert in something I am so passionate about, meaning my husband has this in his business. I have this in my business. My daughter-in-law has this in our business, meaning we have all these bank accounts and we split up the money, you know, every month. And I, I'm really excited for Rocky to be here. So I also wanted to remind all of you that we have so many events going on right now in Lead Up for Women. And yes, they're online, but the beauty of it is you can just pop into the ones that fit you. We have a different subject for every event, a different member that teaches a different event every week. So pop in on the ones that matter to you. And next week, we're going to be talking a lot about Instagram, how to increase engagement, not your vanity followers, how to increase engagement. I know everyone thinks, well, I have like, you know, 100,000 followers, but what's your engagement, right? So if they're engaged, that's how you're able to drive more revenue, which then we can talk about profit first, right? When you're driving that revenue. So make sure you hop over to the to the website, we'll have those links right here at your fingertips for you. And of course, all those ladies and gentlemen that are watching right now on Facebook, because we do do an extra video on Facebook for us, for everyone to be able to see who I am and see who my guest Rocky is. You can always pop over there and contact Rocky directly, contact me directly, click on any of those links as well. So we invite you to, to join in on our newsletter and of course, uh, join in on any of our, of our events that we have. And if you are needing to generate more revenue, which we're going to talk about today in your business. If you want to generate more revenue in your business, then you might want to consider joining Lead Up for Women because that's all we do for women is help them step in the spotlight. We provide spotlight after spotlight with magazines and podcasts and webinars and events and Member Monday Spotlights and Thrive Thursdays. All of this is for you to expand your influence, to get more visibility and get more exposure because social media, you know, frankly, is too oversaturated. So what are the other ways you can get visibility? And these are the ways that we help you do that and provide yourself credibility at the same time because who doesn't want an article in a magazine published about them, right? So we're there to help you with that too. So I'm excited to introduce Rocky Lovano today. Now, Rocky, what I have here about you is pretty impressive. So you're a chief profitability advisor for business owners. You teach them how to ensure they get paid first, I'm going to say, 
and they make profit a priority. As a certified profit first professional, he implements Mike Michael, I, I always say this wrong, Michael Witz, McCallowitz, McCallowitz? Is it okay? Mike McCallowitz profit first system. And I, I, I have to share real quick. I was on a road trip with my husband. I said, I read this book, Profit First. It's pretty good. I think you should listen to it. He's like, eh, you know, throw it out the window, whatever. So we listened to it on a road trip. We got through the entire book. He came back, and the first thing he did was open up accounts, read back through the book, and start applying Profit First. And it has changed his business model, changed his business model. I remember back in the day when I was, before I became a corporate dropout, I also went to the CFO and said, I think that this mentality, this mindset, right, this mentality and this process of putting this in place, and I gave my CFO the book, of putting this in place for all of the franchisees on how they can make profit a priority would be something that we should add as a model piece to this. I'm not sure if they ever did because, like I said, I dropped out of corporate but, um, but I love that you change the accounting formulas. And, and this is why usually CFOs are like, nope, nope, I'm not. It's, if you're a typical accountant, right, they're like, no, 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 we can't do this. But you change the accounting formula of sales minus expense equals profit. Everyone get that sales minus expense equals profit. You modify that and switch it around to sales minus profit equals expenses. That's right. Number one, I get paid first. So you ensure that profit comes first for people. And Rocky, this is some message that needs to get out there. So thank you for being a guest on our show today. Thank you so much for having me, Colleen. Excited to be here with you today. And, you know, we have a saying that kind of goes along with what you were talking about. Revenue is vanity. Profit is sanity. And cash flow is reality. So I don't care how much money you bring in the door. If it's all going back out with a little bit extra, I don't care that you're a seven-figure business owner. You're still broke. It's not impressive, right? It's not mm -hmm. impressive because if you can't spend the money, if the profit isn't yours to buy, that's the reason why you're running this business, to buy what it is that you want to buy. It doesn't even matter how much money you make. What matters is what are the margins? How much profit are you taking out? That's smart business. That's smart business, right? If you've got a business that's, that's you know, $100,000 a year and you're taking thirty or $70,000 out of that in profit, way to go, you know? So let's talk about that. How did you get into this, Rocky? So, you know, Profit First hasn't been around forever. I know Mike wrote this book a long time ago. Have you met him in person or what happened in your life where you were doing it the quote unquote traditional way and then now you saw this and was like, this worked so well for me and I believe in it that I want to share it with other people. So Colleen, I've actually been doing it this way long before Mike. This is, <laughs> I've been doing this my whole life. That's why I built wealth. Because right from the beginning, when I was in corporate, as soon as like they, before I even got my paycheck, I started pulling money out and putting it in places. And then as soon as I got my paycheck, I started pulling money out and putting it in places. And that was my savings. And then I started living on what was left, but I was always living considerably below my means. And I kept increasing that amount. So I already knew the concept. What I didn't realize being in corporate is that business owners didn't understand the business of business. I thought they were looking at their financial reports. I thought they were actually paying attention to the numbers. And I found out they weren't. And I was like, what do you mean? And that was kind of how I got introduced to Profit First, that 80% of business owners aren't doing this. And I'm like, why is that? And then I realized it. Business owners don't go into business to be accountants. They go into business to do what they love. And when it comes to accounting, you know, math is hard or it's a taboo or it's not something they want to do. It gives them a headache. And I was like, oh, my God these people need help and I can help them. And then I was like, well, do I create my own system and put all this work and effort into it? Or do I just use mics? And I realized the, I didn't want to do all the work to build the system over again and figure out the marketing materials and figure out, you know, all of these different types of things and then build a brand. I'm like, I just want to go look at spreadsheets and help business owners 
do a better job. Mm -hmm. So I, I knew me. And that's why I partnered with Mike, got certified through him. They gave me everything so I could hit the ground running. And plus, I have a, a whole back office team. If I have a question, I can go to the rest of us who are in the same boat. And we're all, we, we, we all play together very nice in the sandbox. Yeah. So everybody helps everybody. I'm glad you said that because... You know, that's something that we taught our kids growing up, and it really started with Dave Ramsey for us. So it started with Dave Ramsey for us and when our kids were younger, and it was about not having debt, right, and living within your means. That was what we taught the kids, you know, and, and it really is what becomes the habit of the poor or middle class, I like to say, and the habits of those and what we were taught, most of us, now not all of us, but for me, the way I was taught was money comes in money goes out, right? Your money comes in as, as, as revenue, your money goes out as expenses, goes out as taxes, goes out. So you're really left with hardly anything. But as you stated, if you're taking money out prior to it being taxed, right? So if you're putting money away in a IRA or even 401k, so you're putting money away prior tax, now your money's working for you before it's even taxed. And then when you get your money, if you're putting more money away and living within your means, now that money's working for you because it's the money you earned and you're paying yourself first, which is exactly what you should do. Which, by the way, means maybe your expenses have to look a little bit different because if you're putting money away, you might have a, not have enough money for all that extra cable TV or that really expensive vehicle you wanted to buy or all of the different shopping, um, you know, that you do online, maybe you have to cut your expenses a little bit or increase your revenue to be able to afford that if you're paying yourself first, right? That's pretty much the premise of how it works. It is. It's the exact same premise. And I, I've, right. I've been down, I've spent uh, time with Dave Ramsey's group, went through his master mm -hmm. coaching program. So I totally understand the systems, the principles behind yeah. Dave Ramsey are the same principles behind Mike McCallowitz and Profit First. It's literally one is for your personal and one is for your business. And they're both literally interchangeable. Yeah. And it's just really teaching the basics. I, I just look at the basic principles are if you want to afford certain things, then you need to drive more revenue and have more pro and, and create more profit for yourself and your business. So living within your means there's a formula to that, right? Living within your means, there's a formula to that. And if you are teaching, and this is why we're talking to adults today, especially females, you know, you are really the teacher and the educator in your family, you and the uh, person that is running the household with you, you know, whatever that significant other spouse would be, is going to be your, you guys are making the decision. So, Children watch by example, and they watch what you do. My husband and I had this long conversation last night for an hour of where we see our kids that are today and the decisions we've made, and we know that a lot of our decisions and what we've done in our lives have impacted them to be to think beyond maybe what their vision was that they thought that they could achieve or what was possible and how they need to live within their means. And that doesn't mean that you necessarily have to get into the mindset of scarcity. It's not a mindset of scarcity. We have to be very careful with that, right? Right, Rocky? Absolutely. It is not about scarcity. I spend a lot of money, but I spend less than I make. <laughs> yeah. So you just have to keep a little bit of margin. And as long as you have margin, life is good. The problem in business, I think, is for most business owners, it's very hard for them to figure out their margin. They don't know you know how much is coming in, right? It's easy to look at your sales. It's really hard to figure out how much is going out. Yeah. Because they don't tie together cleanly and neatly. And so I think it makes it very difficult for business owners. And they 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 go out and they buy something for $100 and they sell it for $200 and they say, well, I'm profitable. But they forgot about all the overhead and all the selling costs and all the other things get, that get involved. And when you start digging into the numbers, you realize it actually costs you $210 to sell <laughs> that item for $200. <laughs> but you know what? Cash flow is great. And it takes a year for you to figure out that you're losing money by small little cuts. 
And so that's a big part of, of what happens, unfortunately, especially in the online space. Because when you sell on Amazon, they take a massive cut. And so massive. I think it, it, and then you have to pay for shipping and we forget about that. And so you really have to dig into the numbers and have real clarity on what it, what it is that you're doing. Yeah, Rocky, let's talk about the tactical pieces. You know, we're about, uh, I want to jump in very quickly into uh, what that looks like. Because anyone listening is like, great, well, how do I do profit first? So you're talking to me about living within my means and paying myself first. Let's talk about what it means for business. How do you set up a profit first system? I know you've got a way to do that. So let's talk about what that looks like for someone who is an entrepreneur listening today that says, I can't pay myself in my business. It's not paying me. That's because you've chosen for it not to pay you. Let's talk about what the formula is for it to pay you starting tomorrow. So basically, as you said, you set up a bunch of accounts. Yep. And the first account is your income account. Yep. And all your money goes into the income account. This makes it very clear how much money you have coming in. The first account the second account that we set up is the profit account because profit comes first, right? You want yep. a profitable business. The second account that we set up is the owner's pay because you all have a habit of paying yourself last, paying everyone else before you. If you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of everybody else. You're the one who took the risk. You're the one who put in the efforts. You should come first. That's called payroll. So that's called payroll. Well, you're you're paying payroll. yourself. Your no, payroll. Your payroll. Yep. Not Owner's everybody payroll. else's. Your payroll. Owner's payroll. The next one is taxes because mm -hmm. if you're doing a good job, the government needs to collect its taxes. And just like when you had a job, they took taxes out when you got your paycheck. You need to take taxes out when you get your revenue. So when tax time comes, you are not freaking out at the tax bill. You have the money to pay it. That is huge. I have to tell you, Rocky, for so many years for my husband and I, before we implemented Profit First, we had a tax bill at the end of the year that we had this mound of money we had to pay. Mm -hmm. uh, and so now that we put money aside for taxes, there's no stress. There's no worry. In fact, there's been so many times where there were taxes left over and we put too much aside, we just shift that right into the profit account. Now, I don't know if that's what Mike's book says, but it's like, we don't need that tax money. We over, or, or you save it, right? Or you invest it and you put it away to save. However it is and what you need to do with that money. So, um, and, and I would say to everyone listening right now, consult your tax advisor on this. So some of these things like the tax account, consult your CPA or your tax advisor on, or maybe even Rocky works with you on this, but um, but definitely consult someone on what percentage you should be putting away. Yeah. The easiest way to do that, well, I, I don't want to give advice because if you're growing, it, it's messed up. But if you look at your total revenue and you look at what last year's taxes were, you can get a percentage. That's yeah. a place to start. It's Not a place perfect, to start. But it's a yeah. place to start. Yeah. And then your last account is your operating expenses. So this is truly the money you have to spend after you've been profitable, after you've been paid, and after you've been covered your taxes. And now when you go look at that account, you know how much you really have to spend and you're not spending your money and you're not spending your profit and you're not spending your taxes. So in a nutshell, that's what the system does. It forces you to live on less and it's actually built on a principle called Parkinson's law, which most people have never heard of. But Parkinson's law basically says you will use up all the resources allocated. So I know sometimes somebody will come to you and say, hey, we've got this great program that we can offer you. Their first question is, what's your budget? Whatever your budget is, they're going to use it all up, right? It's same thing with lifestyle inflation. I don't care how much you make, you spend it all. If you can constrain it up front, you will spend less. You will find a way. And it's the old 80-20 rule, right? 20% of what we do gets 80% of the results. And if we don't constrain ourselves, we waste the other 80% to get very little in return. Mm -hmm. And so that's a big part of it. And that's what this entire system is based on, is restraining your spending mm -hmm. and Absolutely. making wiser decisions. And I like the way Mike put it in the book. So first of all, I'm going to recommend 
uh, everyone go out and get the book, but we'll talk about that in the minute in a minute. And um, it's it's Profit First by here we go again by <laughs> I always get the name wrong by Mike Michael McCallowitz or McCallowitz I got it there Mike McCallowitz Profit First. Uh, it's a really long last name, but just go find Mike, and he made the book Profit First. There isn't anyone out there, any other one out there. Um, but, I, you know, the way he put it in the book that was so simple for me to understand, which might be very easy for some people thinking, like, five accounts, are you kidding me? That's crazy. He, he said it like this. You have one bank account. You open up the bank account. Unless you have a spreadsheet or a budgeting or something that you do to budget your money where every dollar gets a label like Dave Ramsey teaches, right? Every dollar you make should have a label. If you're not doing that, you open up your bank account and go, well, I've got $24,000 in here. I'm, I'm doing great this month. I'm sitting easy. I can pay for my expenses. I don't have to worry about any of this stuff. I can, I can go buy that barbecue I was talking about. We can go on an extra vacation. This is what happens to our human brains when we see $24,000 in our account. However, if you were to take that $24,000, break it up into the profit account, the owner's pay, the taxes account, and the operating expenses, now you go and look and your operating expenses is what you can pay for all of your business expenses with. So that account looks much smaller because you've taken out your profit, your owner's pay, and you've taken out your taxes. So that kind of pushes your back up against the wall to give you a little poof of a hustle because now that $24,000 looks like $10,000 and you're like, whoa, I don't have as much money as I anticipated that I had. So I need to get out there and hustle and sell more deals. And I tell you what, the first time my husband introduced that into his business, his business started growing because he was looking at the numbers differently. And that's what it's all about. It's about restraining and looking at the numbers differently and having everything prepaid that you need to have prepaid for the year, like taxes, your owner's pay, and your profit. So let's, let's just do a little math here because this is Good. really, really interesting. Let's say you have a business and you sell $100,000 a year, okay. right? The end of the year, you're profitable and you make $10,000, okay? Now, we could do one of two things. Next year, you wanna make $20,000 in profit. So in order to do that, you could double your sales, go from 100,000 to 200,000. That's a lot of work, it's a lot of extra effort, it's a lot of hustle. But what if instead, you cut your costs by 10%. If you cut your costs by 10%, you'd essentially have another $10,000. No extra work, no extra hustle, right? And it's guaranteed. And practically every business owner can cut their expenses by 10% because we waste money, because we're not paying attention to it. It's, it's this, it's no different than all, and I'm going to be honest about this, everyone. It's no different than all the advertisements that have been going around for the past year saying refinance your house. If you're at a higher than a 3% or higher than a 4%, you are basically throwing money away on interest. If you were to just refinance that, lower it, most of them were even refinancing and not adding additional years on your mortgage. It was refinancing where it was. If you dropped a percent or two, your payment every month would drop at two or $300 a month. So that two or $300 a month is just from being smart and looking at how you can save money by changing your percentage. This is no different than what you're talking about. Instead of trying to increase your revenue by double, what can you look at what your expenses are and decrease those by 10% to drop the profit on the bottom line? Yeah, I don't like to work harder. I like to work less and make more. It's just just me. That's just the way I am. I'm the same. I'm the same. I'm going to I'm going to honestly tell you I'm the same. Now, now some of you might be asking the question, "Okay, this seems really difficult because I have to tell you when my husband and I first went through this book and went through it, it's a lot of effort to, you know, and Mike gets into a lot of detail in the book, and this is why you need Rocky. This is why you need someone to help you with this. At least help you lay this out, help you look at your numbers, help you go through this because it's very time consuming when you're doing it on your own because some of these accounts you need to have, be able to have direct access to in the same bank. Some of these accounts, it's recommended that you don't have access to them in the same bank and they be in a different bank. Why? 
because as humans, if we can just digitally transfer funds very quickly, it's harder to keep money. If, if you're running low on expenses, you immediately dip into what? Profit and owner's pay. You're going to take money from yourself first, and you're going to try and put it in expenses to make up for it instead of doing the hustle, right? So they recommend you have them in a different bank because that's like a three-day transaction to get the money over. So your thought process, you get three days to process it. It's like, you know, if you're going to make a decision to do something, sometimes there's like a 24-hour wait period or a 72-hour wait period because they want you to process the decision that you're making. And so you definitely need Rocky to really help you understand that. And there's percentages of what you would transfer into each one of these accounts and how often. So it does get a little bit more integral, right, Rocky? It does. And Mike, Mike is so bad, he's not allowed to take money out of the, he has to have someone countersign to take money out of the other bank. So he spend thrift. So they, they, they really force him and keep him accountable to saying, no, you can't have any more money. That's your profit. You're not allowed to touch it. Yeah, you know, and I have to tell you in my family, and I'll share this because I share personal things all the time here on my podcast. My husband gets so excited when he's like, hey, we have money in the profit account. We can use that for our next vacation. Hey, why don't we just use the profit account to go on vacation? So every vacation we have taken in the past two years was on profit money. And he says, let's just use the profit money to take our vacations and do things. So that's what we use the profit money for. And it's so great because we don't have to have additional funds saved up somewhere else. And for him, that is a huge reward for us to be able to go away and pay for plane tickets and the hotel. Our last trip was a four day trip in an RV and we rented an RV and we drove around for four days up in, we went and saw uh, Zion National Park and we went all up in Northern Arizona and Southern Utah and it paid for the entire trip everything gas rv food uh entryways into the park and it was nice because we didn't have to figure that into our personal budget and so now we know we can take a trip every few months just on profit money and go have a good time you should be rewarded for the work you do in your business and that's how you reward yourself yeah i agree with you so rocky why tell me how you work with a client and um tell us how you're uh, you know that really the ideal person that should be reaching out to you is any entrepreneur right now. <laughs> if you do, if you are not running profit first, and you're complaining that you don't get enough profit out of your business, then you should be making this call. And if you're not, then I can't help you. Like I'm, I'm giving, I'm literally being honest. I, I'm always straightforward. I'm giving you a resource here of someone that can assist you in breaking this down to understand it. And at the very least, you should be going and buying the book. So talk to us about that, Rocky. So you can find me at Profit Comes First. And on the site, you'll find a couple things. If you want to get the first two chapters to Mike's book for free, they're right there. You can sign up. I won't give you a million emails. You'll get a handful of emails, but each email comes with another tool that will help you implement Profit First. You can find my podcast, which is Profit Answer Man. And I go through every single chapter of the book and I explain it on top of what's in the book. So I clear up some things that might not be clear. And then you get to hear a ton of stories from people who are implementing Profit First and whose sole goal is to help you increase your business's value. Yes. So all of that is free. Uh, if you're interested in more in depth, there is a course that I have that helps you to do this. You can find that on the website. And then at the top level is one-on-one -on -one with me where I work directly with you and essentially, I do all the work and I tell you what's going on so that you can make wiser decisions with your money. Okay, y'all, today just got even better. So he just introduced that you can follow him on his podcast, Profit First, which he breaks down every chapter, talks about how to do it. So he's giving you practical application for you to apply this into your business for free. And I'm also going to be a guest, I think, in April on your podcast. So I'm super excited to talk more about our stories. And ProfitComesFirst.com. Go sign up there. And um, he is going to send you tools for you to implement this through these handful of emails on how you implement it. So first, you can get a couple of the chapters um, and download those and you'll get uh, some additional information. 
You can go buy the book. Obviously, I recommend buying the book and doing it on Audible or uh, doing it, you know, through reading it. I did it on Audible. It was just easier for me. But then if you get to a point where you've started implementing this or you're getting frustrated with it and you're not really sure how to do it, this is the opportunity for you then for you to, to go to Rocky and say, hey, you know, I have kind of a, a different situation. I could really use your help on this. Could you help me through, um, imp- you know, really getting this implemented into my business? And I'm just going to tell all of you right now, it changes the way you do business. It will change the way. It's almost like reallocating your assets. And sometimes when you look at how you reallocate your assets, it will bring you more wealth. In fact, when you reallocate your assets, you will really figure out how much wealth you have versus debt that you have and how much you can pull out of your business versus how much you're giving away. And I know all of you struggle with, no matter what level you're at, we struggle with getting more and more and more money and spending less time in it, right? So how can you spend less time and make more money? It's about being smart with the money that you have coming in already. So Rocky, that's what this system does. And that's what you do with your customers. It is, and I I will just tell you, I can't tell you how many seven-figure business owners are losing money. Lots so and lots. It, and lots. lots it, it, you think they're all doing well? They're not. And right now, the other thing I totally forgot to mention was, I can't tell you how many phone calls I've been on, I've been on where people have talked about tax time. Oh my gosh, tax time, tax time, tax time. I'm so worried. I'm going to get another huge tax bill. And I'm like, I'm never worried about taxes because we already kind of have an idea of what our taxes are. We stay in contact with our CPA throughout the year. He's also been certified through Dave Ramsey. So we stay in contact with him throughout the year. He advises us on how to do our payroll based on how much money we know we're going to make that year. And then we have the profit first that we do. So we always know where our money is going to go, always how much we're going to owe. And the money is always sitting there ready to pay. So it's never a stress or a worry. It's like, it's just a process because the government, the IRS requires that we send that in. But for us, it's just a process of what we have to do every year. And it is. And I I can tell you a story of of someone who used Profit First and they had a blowout year. So their sales were through the roof. They did not talk to their accountant and tell them their sales were through the roof. So tax time comes and the accountant didn't want to call them. Finally, the accountant calls three weeks later and says, I've been dreading this call. He's like, what's up? She's like, you owe a lot in taxes. He's like, yeah, I know. My sales went up. He's like, how much? And it was almost a six-figure tax bill. And his answer to her was, no problem. Drop off checks tomorrow. She said, in my 20-plus years, nobody has ever said that to me. He said to me, he goes, I had more money in the tax account than I had to pay in taxes. So he got a bonus too. Did he like paying the taxes? Absolutely not. No, but But, we want to make more money. And when you make more money, you have to pay more taxes. (laughs) That's just, that's life. And he was able to handle it and he slept it. That is the one thing every single person who uses profit first tells me. Yeah. I hate tax time, but I no longer fear tax time. I know that whatever it is, I will stroke a check. It was the number one reliever for my husband and I year one. That was the the stress of writing the check for having the taxes and where are we going to get the money? And then now that we have it set aside, it's like, oh, we just don't worry about taxes anymore. Tax time comes. We already have the money there. We know we can pay. It's just being smart with your business. So take the time to invest in this. I don't care if you say, well, I'm too busy. I don't have time to run five accounts. I'll tell you what, I can even recommend to you bookkeepers that do profit first. So now they will do your books and take care of your five accounts for you. So they'll even do all of that for you in addition to keeping your P&Ls and all your records for you because they believe in it that much. And not a typical CPA understands it because it's literally like the reverse of how you would do your numbers. And so they're, they're like, those numbers don't match. The black doesn't match the red. And I don't understand this. And so it's, a, it's rethinking how you make your money work for you. Yeah. No so true. true, Rocky. Mindset shift. It is. Rocky, thank you so much. This has been very informative for all of our listeners today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode because I love numbers and I was not a math person 
in high school uh, or college, but I love numbers. In fact, I almost failed accounting in college. I remember I would work so, so hard and get a C and I couldn't understand why I just struggled with the red and the black and the negatives and the, I love numbers and I'm so good at numbers now, but back then it just didn't, it didn't click with me. And maybe that's because that old traditional way doesn't work and my brain doesn't work that way. But profit, that works in my brain. I get profit first. So uh, I'm going to encourage all of you, go out to profitcomesfirst.com. Click on the link, download the first two chapters of the book. Uh, that way, Rocky can send you some additional implementation tools for you to be able to do this and follow his podcast, Profit First. Uh, he's breaking down the book. He's getting guests on there and talking about their story. So this is no excuses for you not to do this. And this relieves so much stress, everyone. Please, I have to tell you in your world, so much stress. It needs to be implemented in your business now. And it's just a matter of moving money around a couple times a month and opening up a few bank accounts. So spend the initial investment of doing this in time and it will save you so much time in the end and you will make more money. Guaranteed. I know it'll work because it's worked for everyone I've ever spoken to. So thank you, Rocky, so much for joining us today. It was such a pleasure to have you here. And for all of our listeners, just a reminder that we will be back next week on Wednesday at 10 a.m. is when we go live on Facebook. Uh, and, and all of the links right now for Rocky and everything I talked about today are at the tip of your fingertips. We have them at the top of the Facebook links. So they're all there for you. I definitely recommend that you reach out to Rocky to find out how he can help you do this. It's a great investment of time. It's an investment of time. Remember that. And then, uh, again, we talked all about our events. So we hope, you see you, we hope we see you guys next week. We're going to be interviewing Michelle Bush and co-host Brooke Burrup will be with me. Uh, Michelle's an executive coach, talent management, and leader de leadership development executive. So we're always talking about how we can develop into better leaders. And honestly, you want to be a better leader of your company, you might want to implement Profit First. I'm going to be honest with you. It's the way that you can be the leader of your money. Uh, and so I want to leave you with this. Remember, ladies, you are the only you that has ever been, and you are the only you that will ever be. You've got one life. So how you pioneer life, this life is up to you. And you are the ones that make the decision in your business and in your life. So you need to give yourself permission to be you and be strong. So thank you, ladies, for being with us. And we'll see you next week. Goodbye now. Goodbye, everybody on Facebook. We'll see ya.